ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థులు విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారము నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలో అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడును కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయాలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ఫ్రీ ఫండ్ పరీక్షలు కూడా నిర్వహించబడు ఈ యొక్క అవకాశాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేసుకోవాలి so ma we have seen the reasons for selecting the pea plant right next including with that one even they may ask the mono hybrid also or they may ask the mendel loss also so we have completed the reasons right next we'll move to the mono hybrid cross which was done by the mendel and the full name of mendel is the gregor john mendel and next one the mono hybrid cross mono hybrid cross so if you want to discuss this mono hybrid cross we should know some terms which come across in this mono hybrid cross first we'll do it that one and we'll come to the mono hybrid cross ardham avutun kanna na సో మోనో హైబ్రిడ్ క్రాస్ చేయాలని అంటే మనకి కొన్ని టర్మ్స్ అనేవి వస్తాయి అనమాట ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు నో దట్ టర్మ్స్ దాన్ వీ షుడ్ డూ ఇట్ ఓకే తెలుసుకోకుండా చేయకూడదు ఓకే వీ షుడ్ నో ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సో దిస్ మోనో హైబ్రిడ్ క్రాస్ క్యాన్ బీ ఆస్ డస్ ది ఫోర్ మార్క్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూర్ లాక్ ఫేవర్స్ ఎయిట్ మార్క్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివ్ ఇట్ క్యాన్ బీ గివెన్ అలాంగ్ విత్ సమ్ అదర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ లైక్ రీజన్స్ ఐ టోల్ రైట్ so if we get and before we get into it we should know some terms which come across in this mono hybrid cross i'll after completing that i'll come to the cross okay so some terms and mendel was the one he didn't give the name of the gene he said Uh, from parents to offspring something is generated could not able to prove that what actually is transferring or what actually is passing mendel em chesadu na crosses anedi chesadu but exact ga what it is uh, passing he could not able to tell just uh, he mentioned that characters are passed from generation to generation he gave the term as factor okay factor is passed factor is responsible for the character passing from parents to offspring or from one generation to the another generation but he could not able to give the exact word to it what was the exact word ma can you tell the exact word yeah so the so the gene is the active word okay gene is the correct word which demonstrate this like what is passed from parent to offspring what is passed the gene is passed what is the gene is nothing but the dna okay nothing but a segment of dna or dna is the genetic material okay ma in simple see in a cell will be having the nucleus in nucleus will be having the chromosome these chromosomes are made up of the dna so the dna is passed from generation to generation so simply we call it as a gene so that gene is responsible for the 
characters. These characters they may be external ones or it may be the internal one. Let us something so take example like height. Okay, so if height wants to be expressed, they, it is a character, right? Height as a character. So, so it is passed, it can be passed from parents to offspring or from generation to generation like that. So, each character is governed by some certain genes. So, that gene, it may be dominant or it may be recessive one. So, so some terms like uh, phenotype I said. What is a phenotype? Nothing but a physical appearance of any individual. So some simply write it. So we don't want any mug up or put your brains like that. Okay, simple just like guess, like, like thing. Simple words you can complete it. So what is a phenotype here ma? Okay. Physical make physical appearance, physical appearance of an individual. So simply close it, right? Simple definition. Na ke rado me came Japan Japandi na ke in the pedda definitions gurta pet kodam. I can't. So for you, I'm giving the even simple. So physical appearance of any individual. Okay, physical appearance like. How I am, do I am I fair, do I am I dark, do I am I high, short, all these things are considered as the physical appearance. Then opposite to it, physical out, out is completed. Next, insight. Okay, yeah, are all these smart children? You should definitely guess. G no means genetic makeup. Genetic makeup the genetic makeup of an individual okay p for you can remember simply remember smart guess smart easily make how we can remember p for physical g for genetic pp gg so like that simple right so this physical genetic should be expressed right right next one we come across even the dominant we also come as the dominant word or uh, if any character i said right physical character or the genetic character which expresses is called dominant or a gene or simply we can say gene or characters you can write even a lily also so gene or character which expresses is called the dominant one then what comes to dominant after after this ne recessive opposite to dominant a muntundi opposite to dominant recessive untundi so write according to it, which doesn't express is called the recessive. So papam, right? Which does not. Or which means here the gene or the character here. Which does not express the, which does not express is the recessive one. Let me clear to you. Phenotype means? Outside, manam pai kela gan pistam of phenotype. Genetic alga manam ko lopala. How we are made up of is the genotype. Complete it. Done, right? We are done with physical. We are done with genotype. Like any character, whether it is expressed or not, which expresses. A daite express out on the da name and tamma. Dominant. A daite express kado genotype. That's the recessive one. Okay, these are some terms and like a dominant example if I want to give. Okay. Like your father. Simple example I give. Hello students, myself Sunil Kumar Badal. I have done my B.Tech from IIT Kanpur. Here at KVN Karna classes, I teach chemistry. So, right now I know you all are busy with your board exam preparation. But let me ask you a question. 
सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू बी ए क्रिकेटर हु वुड यू चूज यूर कोच अ क्रिकेटर और अ रेसलर आंसर इज डेफिनेटली क्रिकेटर सो इन द सेम वे हियर वी आर द ग्रुप ऑफ आई टी एन एन आई टी एन एंड डॉक्टर सो इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू क्रैक और गेट अ सीट इन टू आई टी एन आई टी और एनी टॉप मेडिकल कॉलेज कम हियर एंड ज्वाइन एस वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर थैंक यू लाइक योर फादर इज देयर ओके मैरिज विद मदर ओके दे आर टू इंडिविजुअल्स दे आर मैरिड लाइक इन टेक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑल्सो द फादर इज हिज टोन स्किन टोन इज ब्लैक जनरली अंत कदा अबाई और डिफरेंट इधर ईक्वल कष्ट ब्लैक वैट ओके दिस् मैरिज हैपन बिटवीन दम ओके आफ्टर नैक्स्ट दि गेट दि ऑफ स्प्रिंग इंडिविजुअल न्यू इंडिविजुअल न्यू बॉर्न वन दि बॉर्न वन आर् ब्लैक इट सिम्स ओके दे स्किन टोन गॉट दि ब्लैक हाउ दे गॉट दि ब्लैक हियर बिकॉज here the father is the father gene outside he is black he, we can from this example we can demonstrate we can demonstrate both the phenotype genotype outside right bahar se kaise hai wo black black dikh rahe means outer black inside we don't know the genes right that's called inside gene is called the genetic okay genotype so why we got this black over here ma because the father gene is dominant here like this the father is dominant here okay so here the father gene is dominating the mother gene here so the mother is recessive here so i said before right the character which expresses can be taken as dominant edaithe character express avutundo lekapothe vevarena manam antam kada manam pai kellalante kindaki ante kada yeah inko kalli suppress cheyali it's not like that you have to give chance for everyone okay so the dominant one is the black okay so it is dominating the mother gene over here so we got the the individuals whatever we got they are the black so dominant is suppressing the recessive one this is one example can be taken it's not all the time okay so ex- we sometimes even the mother mother genes can dominate the father it's not like that like you can take reverse to it if the mother here she is fair we should not say here exactly fair we need to tell why okay fair or white we can father is black here okay i am writing just reverse to it that's all i want to tell in a simple manner but the children got they are fair fairness okay so here who is dominating can you tell me? who is dominating ma so mother genes are dominating here so this is the dominant here here it is the recessive so like uh, what i mean to say is you got ma any phenotype okay if they want to express it depends on the gene okay it's not always the black dominates lot like that even the fair out fair one is also the, uh, governed by the gene so the here the fairness is dominating the black okay the dom- so mother is a dominant here the recessive one so that's why we got the fairness okay in daughter these are the daughter individuals daughter or any daughter cells or simply you can tell it as offspring so hope you understood ma it's not it's not exactly we can tell who will be dominant or who will be the recessive okay this is one example short simple example okay now that's anduke manamu evarni blame cheyakudu oh, lots black is fair like that okay it depends on their forefather generation also okay 
ఇద్దరు ఫెయిర్ గా ఉన్నా పుట్టిన వాళ్ళు బ్లాక్ గా ఉన్నారు అనుకోండి ఇట్స్ నాట్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ బ్లేమ్ ఓకే ఇన్ దేర్ ఫ్యామిలీ దేర్ మైట్ బి ఎనీ ఫోర్ మదర్ గ్రాండ్ మదర్ గ్రాండ్ ఫోర్ దే మే బి డార్క్ స్కిన్ కలర్ సో ఫినోటైప్ ఓవర్ జీనోటైప్ ఐ సెట్ జెనెటిక్ వన్ డామినెంట్ మన్ మీన్స్ వి హావ్ గివెన్ ది ఐ హావ్ గివెన్ ది ఎగ్జాంపుల్ రైట్ విచ్ ఎక్స్‌ప్రెసెస్ it's recessive means which doesn't expresses opposite and also another terms like homozygous okay homozygous means here character is represented as pairs so character means factor okay characters are expressed by the factor or the gene they are written in pairs they have to be written in pairs okay homozygous means both genes both alleles alleles are nothing but alternative form of a gene whether dominant whether they are recessive so homozygous means similar type or similar type of genes or gene is nothing but allele only okay are there that's called homozygous let i said you right we will write in a pair so y y here y y capital y capital y so capital y means so means a dominant one we always dominant one we represent with capital letters okay and we denote the recessive with small letter like this here both can you guess what what they are y capital y capital y it is the one of the character of the seed character color of the seed okay yellow is the dominant one so y y both are same so outside they are yellow just inside different let same letters are they different no so this is their genotype genotype is this one whether they both capital letters or the small letter easy na na just anta pedda complex ga ardham cheskovalsina avashyame ledu em undi represent chese yellow color lopala letters unnai kada aa letters lo la same untundi genotype phenotype ante character జీనోటైప్ అంటే ఏవైతే మనం లెటర్స్ లో రాస్తాం కదా అవే జీనోటైప్ సో హోమో మీన్స్ సిమిలర్ ఓకే దెన్ వాట్ విల్ బి ది ఆపోజిట్ వన్ టు ది హోమోజైగస్ కెన్ యూ టెల్ దట్ హెటిరోజైగస్ సో కెన్ యూ రైట్ రైట్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఓవర్ హియర్ డిస్ సిమిలర్ పెయిర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ జీన్స్ డిఫరెంట్ type of genes or alleles are there it's called heterozygous so i am writing here capital y small y so different this is the capital letter this is the small letter alphabet sochu kada hmm so this is the different one okay that's why it's called the heterozygous outside if they are yellow actually uh, this y is dominating this small y here the phenotypically how they appear is the yellow color and the genetical wise genotype appearance is this one i means i told you right whenever we write in alphabet man alphabets lo raskunte simple ga em antam genotype ఫీనోటైప్ అనేది ఎలా ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ అవుతుంది అవుట్ సైడ్ ఇట్స్ కాల్ ది హెటిరోజైగస్ సో ది హెటిరోజైగస్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బీ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ హైబ్రిడ్ హైబ్రిడే కదా డో డిఫరెంట్ వన్ వన్ ఈజ్ డిఫరెంట్ అండ్ ఇదర్ వన్ ఈజ్ డిఫరెంట్ దిస్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బీ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ హైబ్రిడ్ ఈవెన్ ఓకేనా సో ఇక్కడ హోమోజైగస్లో ఏంటంటే రెండు డామినెంట్ అవ్వాల్సిన అవసరం కూడా లేదు ఇట్ క్యాన్ బీ even small y small y also means both can be dominant 
and both can be recessive. In heterozygous, one will be the dominant one, one will be the, this is the dominant one, dominant, I am writing in short form, this is the recessive one. Ardhamutunana, so I could end the end, rendu kuda dominant I undachu, lake pote, rendu kuda recessive I undachu. Heterozygous and ENT, two different character. Whenever we mix, manaki hybrid roses, osunakeda image ENT, hybrid plants. So, two characters are there like that. So, it is considered as the heterozygous condition. Next, another word we come across is the it is hybrid variety. Manji two different variety. Pure breeding ani guda manam choose taru. Or pure lines, pure variety. Pure variety ante ante na na ante. Since from many years, if the same character we got instead of the new one, koni years nunchi guda same character ani the maintenance outun dan kondi. Like ten years, twenty years like that. Same character is. Uh, uh, appearing means kotta variety emi raavatle dankondi it's called the pure lines means simply we can say constant character constant character appearing from many years or years many years sim em japali opposite to the hybrid one is the pure one so ikkada idi these two can be taken as a pure lines these can be considered as the pure line here. So, these are some certain terms we see in the mono hybrid. So, if we tell Skokunda simple ga cross manam chase thing and okay na chayadu. Okay na? Is it clear to you? So, what we discuss here is the phenotype outer, in, outside, genotype inside, dominant means expresses, recessive means not expresses. Homozygous means similar one, heterozygous means different one.